In this video, we will go over the process of converting drawing items to hydraulic items in order to run a design in ERICAD. We'll also look at situations where this can be used for sprinkler spacings that are not uniform along the lateral. There are references in the uh, help files in the user manual. If you look for the user manual, entering information into ERICAD and then converting drawing items to hydraulic items. This is the layout that we're going to work with today. You can see that it's a block of trees and sprinklers. The trees are circles and the sprinklers are either side of those trees. The tree spacing is 50 feet but the sprinklers are 10 feet either side of the tree. So it's a good example of non-uniform spacing along the lateral pipe. Here we have the drawing inside ERICAD link that we're going to work with. The process is exactly the same in ERICAD standalone. The layers might be in a different place, but the process is the same. Notice that in, in the drawing file, the uh, sprinklers and lateral pipelines and submain pipeline have been put in different layers. This, makes, uh, this is useful and makes it easier for the conversion process. We're going to turn uh, everything off except the sprinkler points. So here we have the sprinkler points and I will select all of those and in the zone menu go down to zone outlet. Do you want to convert these entities to outlets? Yes. The sprinkler that I want to use is the R10 Turbo. I will select the nozzle for this particular design, the pressure at the nozzle, and the riser assembly that I want to use for the sprinkler. And then click OK. So now those points have been converted to sprinklers. They are hydraulic objects now and their uh, diameter of uh, coverage is shown. We'll go back into the layer manager. I want to turn off the uh, weighted radius or diameter and I'm going to turn the layer on that has the lines for the lateral pipes. So no, now we have the lateral pipelines and the sprinklers that we have created. I'll select everything and under zone go to cut pipe. And this will ensure that the line is broken up into segment segments and connected to every sprinkler. If we just zo use zone pipe, it will be one pipe from start to finish and the sprinklers won't be connected. Do you want to connect? Yes. We could specify a diameter or leave it as computer selected. So now we have the sprinklers and lines converted to lateral pipes. I'll go and change the symbol size uh, make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see so now we'll go back into the layer manager and turn the, the line representing the submain pipe turn that on again select everything and again in the design menu cut pipe. If we just use pipe it will be one pipe not connected to each lateral. If we use cut pipe it will connect to each lateral pipe along the way. Convert yes, computer selected yes and so now we we can see that each segment is one segment. Uh, we can put a control valve on the end of the submain We can put a piece of mainline pipe on the control valve. And the water supply on the end of the mainline. Now we can, in the design menu, check outlet connectivity. 
and this will verify if everything is connected up okay, which it is. So that's really the process working from downstream to upstream. Uh, one thing to keep in mind if you're connecting um, a lot of segments of pipe is sometimes it's necessary to do it in multiple steps. I'm going to draw a line here and then another line intersecting with that. And we will convert those, those lines into mainline pipe. So first we select them, go to mainline and select cut pipe. And we can see that it's converted them to main lines. However, if we look closely, this is one piece of pipe. And if we try and move this junction, we can see that the other pipe does not move with it. So it's not connected. So this is an example of doing things in more than one step. Go back to just lines, and now I'm going to convert just that one pipe to a mainline pipe. And then I'm going to select the line and the mainline pipe, use mainline cut pipe, convert, OK. And we can see that each of these top segments is an individual piece of pipe. And if we try and move the junction, we can see that all the pipes move with it so everything is connected properly. So that is the process involved in converting uh, drawing items to hydraulic entities.